Good morning, chicks and chickens. Welcome back to Old Man Farm. My name is Sid, as always. We have some floating hands. It's a odd relic of the mod, but, uh, oh well. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and check our fortune. Don't think this is going to matter much, but the spirits are very happy, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I forgot it was going to be raining today, but that is no big deal. We have our melons already. Now, here's the thing. I kind of forgot that we need gold star. Yeah, we only got one. So on Monday, we're going to buy more melon seeds. We're, we're, yeah, on Monday, we're going to buy more melon seeds because we need to make sure to get those. Uh, but for now, we'll go ahead and store those. Actually, I'm going to take the gold star one out because I want to make sure that we... Don't forget that that is for the community center. Holy crap. Scares me every time. Um, I think tomorrow we will be going to the aquarium. I think we're going to try and make that a Sunday tradition. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's the plan. But for now, see, we will head into town. We can't get new seeds today because it is a Saturday. But that's no big deal. Um, actually, you know, since it is raining, we may as well go to the aquarium today. Yeah, I think that's actually probably the best bet. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of our tools. Uh, yeah, let's start crabbing fish. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure we smell wonderful right now. Okay, we will run by the community center real quick. Then we're going to run down to the museum and then up to the aquarium. A little bit of a busy day, but that's okay. Uh, so, uh, I've had a really great response from everyone about names for chickens. So, when we get our coop built, which I think is tomorrow, uh, we'll be ready. And I'm, I don't, I think they're like, what are they like? A hundred? Or a hundred, like eight hundred gold a pop. So I'm not going to go buy the new um, fishing rod or anything like that quite yet. Let's see what we got here. Oh, another another sprinkler. Nice. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah. So, oh no, we've got the vault. Crap! Isn't that just like a buttload of money? Let's go check that real quick. But yes, we are going to wait on getting the new uh, fishing rod. Because I, I kind of think we should get the new backpack before we get that. And I think that's 10 grand. So yes, this is just money. We have two and a half G's. Uh, well, <laughs> 2,500 G's, 10,000 G's, 5,000 G's, and 25,000 G's. So that's definitely some more long-term stuff. We have more important upgrades to worry about be spending uh so yeah i think tomorrow we will no not tomorrow monday we will get more seeds because we can't buy today correct oh is he open throughout the week or the weekend if that's the case then we are going to buy some seeds today i was under the assumption he was not uh but yes so i've been playing the new zelda uh and hot take, I was not really a huge fan of Breath of the Wild. Um, like, I don't know, I thought it's it's okay, you know? It was a really, how, how do I word it? it? It was a fun game. I did not enjoy it as a, as a Zelda, if that makes sense. I, you know, I'm, I'm one of those, <laughs> if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of people when it comes to Zelda, like, <clears throat> Excuse me, just like give me, um, oh nice, we got a new painting. Just give me temples with an item in it, and then I, you know, I unlock the thing. I I have to use the the tool in that, um, in that temple, and then to further myself through the world, sort of Metroidvania style. I'm into that. And I was sort of turned off by the idea that you sort of have all of your... 
your tools, quote unquote, is pretty much right off the bat in Breath of the Wild. Um, like I said, fun game. I enjoyed it. It just, I don't know, didn't feel like a Zelda game to me. But I thought, you know, I'm going to quit being a curmudgeon and I'm going to play the new one. So I've been playing it. I've, I don't know, I maybe put like eight hours into it. No, I'm not very far yet, but I have thoroughly been enjoying the ability to like just cr create things. The, the, the like, uh, you know, making boats and cars and whatever other stupid crap. I just, I think that's pretty fun. Oh, cool. I didn't know we could shop on Saturdays. So yes, we need 10 G's for that backpack. No big deal. Now, we need more melon seeds. Okay. Uh, let's go with nine more. Actually, we'll go with eight and we'll use that new, um, whatcha job it. <laughs> you know, the whatcha job it. Uh, we will take one more corn. And then I want a few more radish. There we go. Nothing crazy, but since it's a rainy day, we'll go ahead and make use of it. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys <laughs> updated on my thoughts on Zelda. But so far, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm trying, like I said, not to go at it like an old grump and being like, Oh, it's not what it used to be. I'm going to be mad about it. That's just, I mean, that's a stupid way to look at it. Uh, and to be fair, I wasn't mad about the old one. I beat, I beat Breath of the Wild. I had a good time. I was just, you know, it's like... It's like going to, you know, take a drink of water and you get a drink of Sprite. And it's like, whoa, okay, I mean, I'm okay with this, but it was not what I was expecting. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's kind of, I don't know, I guess that's how I would describe it. Mr. Curator, I have things for you. Oh, we can do them all. Oh, that's nice. Thank you so much for your contribution. Come back in a moment, and I will have it. I will have set it up. Okay. Well, I doesn't look like the guys here, but I wonder. Okay, we can. We can still go to the gift shop, but it doesn't look like we have anything more. That's kind of strange. I expected with the number of things we dropped off, we'd we'd be seeing some changes. All right, well, let's look around see if we can find our additions. I'm assuming not in the desert. Yeah, nothing over on the beach. I don't think we got anything from the the dungeons in here. Oh wow, here we go. Yes. Oh cool. So we did the we looked at the red snapper. No, we did not. The red snapper is easily recognized by its red color. It is a tropical marine fish which can be found during rainy summer days in Stardew Valley. The super cucumber is not actually a fish, but rather an echinoderm. These rare species of sea cucumber is a this rare species of sea cucumber is a rare catch. It has been spotted during summer and fall nights in Stardew Valley. The halibut is a flatfish and lives on the ocean floor. Its name is derived from holy, and but and a starfish. The starfish or sea stars are not actually fish, but rather echinoderms. Again. There exist many species of starfish. They can be found in waters ranging from tropic to polar. The specimen, however, looks to be tropical. So that's so cool. You can see him swimming around. Oh, and look at these guys. This is the this is my favorite thing. This is just my absolute favorite thing we've had. I want to know about the Dorado. Dorado, meaning gold or golden in several languages, gives this shiny fish its name. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is this is just the absolute coolest. Oh, we got a guy over here too. Which one are you? Chub is a very common, uh, is a common name for many ray-finned fish. They are very common fish in Stardew Valley. That is true. We've caught so many. <laughs> uh, I think that's about it, though. That's. Oh, I'm so excited too. Oh, and I was thinking. I'm gonna go back in there real quick. I was thinking these, right here, these five. Um. Uh, tanks directly in the middle. I'm thinking those are for legendary fish because one has like the sewer water, one is icy. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Maybe? Perhaps? 
Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll make this a, like a once a week thing. I, I think we'll just say sometime during the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whichever day works out better uh, based on our planting, harvesting, etc. schedule. We'll just go with that. Gives us a little retreat. It'll be nicer on a day that it's not raining, I suppose. Jesus. I don't even have my headset turned up very loud, but the uh, thunder gets me every time. Nothing from the bat, friends. That's okay. Oh, and you know, um, it was mentioned that if I put the coop next to the water, the ducks would swim. And I was like, hey, guess what? <laughs> uh, I, I kind of forgot that they swim, like, would actually swim. I was just doing it more for flavor, but turns out even better. Oh, we have to make fertilizer. Definitely have to make sure to make some fertilizer. Maximize our chances of getting that gold star. Uh, sure, whatever. Just make a bunch. Every time. Okay, I'm not going to plant these all haphazardly like I did the first time. All right, so those will be auto-watered, which will be nice. I'm just going to plant this corn. I know it's a little early, but hey, what are you going to do? Oh, I guess that's already been fertilized. Okay, and for the radish. Hmm. We'll put those down here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna put one right there. We may as well, right? It's so that way it waters itself. Saves us just a smidge of energy. Let's see. Do we have anything else? Uh, okay. Our hot peppers. Well, it looks like some right there. Our some of the blueberries will be ready in a day, which is nice. Or it looks like only one. I must have forgot to water that specific one one day. Hmm. Uh, no big deal, no big deal. Okay, now let's go grab our tools. And since we have this, an immense amount of energy, we are going to just do some clearing on the farm. Okay, go ahead and take everything back. Uh, I am going to sort out a few things into our chests. Fertilizer, the sap, the stone. We don't need any of that. Um, I'm going to hold on to these melons because they are, they do so well when you upgrade them. Like, they're already worth so much money that when you put them into a preserves jar or when we get one, casks, things like this, the amount of money you make off them is just, again, just so worth keeping them around that uh, we're going to do so. No, we're not really hurting for money. So no use in throwing away something that could do us well tomorrow, right? Okay, sort out my inventory. Whoops, not what I meant to do. There we go. Okay, we'll get to chopping. Uh, and for right now, we're just going to sort of do a little bit of clear cutting. Um, mostly just to use up this energy, but also, hey... We're going to need the wood eventually. So, may as well. I do want to go into the area that will eventually be for the chickens. The livestock area. And I want to clear this a bit. Like, get rid of... Um, get rid of all the, the sticks. Uh, and the stumps. And just things that the animals may get stuck on. Um, I don't think that's how it works, but I just want to make sure there's not going to be any pathing issues. Really just don't need the animals getting stuck outside, you know what I mean? Taking that big, big mood hit. Also, I think, like, can a coyote or something come in the middle of the night and murder your chickens? I swear that's a thing. Like I said, I haven't done a whole lot of livestock raising, so I, I don't know, but I, I feel like that's a thing. Oh, and you know what else is good if we 
get rid of these stumps, we uh, get access to hardware, which is awesome. Uh, since it is a limited resource, well, not limited, it, it, it just, there's only so much you can get per day, or at least as far as I know, that might have changed, but it used to be that there was only so much hardwood you could get every day, which is why the, I believe it's the forest map, uh, that you can start with as your farmhouse, the forest farmhouse is, uh, depending on what you're doing, can be really, really good because it has um, extra hardwood you can harvest every day. Especially if you're trying to get those permanent fences, right? Okay. I think we're going to leave that one lone... Uh, that? I believe that's an oak tree. I'm going to leave that one lone oak. I kind of like the idea of having a singular tree out in the past year. I don't know, it's just a, it's a cool look, in my opinion. We'll let these other trees grow, though. We will, you know, no reason to chop them down prematurely. Um, so now that we have this, let's see. Do I need to make two gates? Will that work? Oh, perhaps three gates? No, see, when you place them sideways, it doesn't seem like they do anything. Okay, we're going to do a little experimenting here because I clearly don't understand the way these work. Okay, so if we place a gate... I'll see, I, I messed it up. Okay, so it just has to be... It just has to be in between some fest, uh, a fence post. Okay. So, I guess we need the... There we go. Okay, noted. Easy enough. We're going to continue with the wooden theme. I don't like that. I would have, you know, I'd prefer to have it be stone. But since the preset one was already wood, we're just, we're going to go with that. Um, let's see. Chop down some of these larger trees so the smaller ones can grow. And a little, little circle of life action. Speaking of circle of life, I had something to say. I forget. I was at, I was at work. All, I worked all weekend. And I was thinking about... I swear it was some Disney movie. Hmm, I, hopefully, I'll, I'll see if I can remember it by, uh, by tomorrow. It was, it was another, like, heinous cartoon or Disney movie or something that I, like, can't believe... You know, I watched as a kid. It's crazy. That kind of stuff just goes right over your head, you know? And it's not even like innuendo. It's just uh, like situations and things that you're like, hmm. Not particularly kid friendly. Okay, so we have very little rock. Stone, excuse me. But we can work on that. But we do have 20 hardwood. And kind of a lot of wood. 430, that's not bad. So, we will be making a mayonnaise machine for sure. Oh, see, that's a good reason why we kept those earth crystals. But we will be making a mayonnaise machine so we can uh, make a little more profit off of our, um, our chickens when we get them. I, I think we should look into building a tapper too. In fact, we have plenty of... Let's go ahead and do that. I think we should get one tapper of each type. You know, may as well. We have all this extra wood. One, two, three. Oh, hey, we got another achievement. Let's check that out. Craft 15 different items. Nice. Awesome. Uh, so, yeah, we'll place a tapper on each type of tree. We have a maple tree, uh, we have our pine tree, and then this should be- oh crap. Sid, what are you doing? You can't be swinging this. There we go. And there's our oak tree. So we'll have maple syrup, pine tar, and oak resin uh, available. It takes a while, but hey, it's, it's one of those long burn resources. And then once we do have the maple syrup, we can make a apiary and 
start getting honey. Which is nice. Okay, let's check the weather. Sunny day. I'm actually excited for that. I I love rainy days because I don't have to do any work, but man, I hate that there's no I hate that there's no music. Okay. Say goodbye to goodbye, yes, we're leaving forever, dogs. Oh my god. Monroe? Jeff? Uh okay, well, sorry for the rambly day. Like I said, it's been a very long weekend. I worked you know, twelve hours, three days in a row. I know, boo-hoo, poor me. But uh I'm a little I'm a little burnt out and I got a doctor's appointment later, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.